Hello there, I'm Tiger Snark and this is episode 8 of my Hogwarts Legacy playthrough as a Gryffindor student on hard mode. Last episode we were busy doing some side quests in Hogsfield and then went to Hogsmeade to sell our stuff to make some room in our inventory. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Okay, uh, where next? I believe... Mm, brooms. I don't think I can fly a broom yet, unless I can just buy a broom to fly. Let's find out. Probably going to be disappointing. Do some side quests instead. Uh, but First, I'm gonna just... Oh no, it's locked! Okay, well that... That really was disappointing. Oh, that's a long way away. Oh! Oh. I'm pressing all the fucking buttons. Maybe I should press the correct one. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh? What was that? Also, it seems like the goblin camp is this way. Yet I'm being told to go another way. This is a really long way. Perhaps I should... Wow. Nope. Not gonna do that. That's a really long run. I could probably do it over here. Just... Holy shit, would you look at that? I actually used the blue network for once. A bunch of bags on the ground with money in it. Oh, what's this? What do you have in store for me this time? I stop ping! And I don't want to move! Do I have to do it quickly? Am I missing one? I'm missing one, aren't I? Oh, there it is! Okay, now no, 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 there's still more. Uh, hmm. Now, I don't know if I have to find them all from this one location. Sneaky. Oh. These murder trials won't get the best of me. No. Okay, and back to the thing we were doing. Just cut through the forest. Which probably won't save us any time. That'll probably save us a bit of time. Oh, what is that? Oh, crap. I think we just keep running. That's probably why you stick to the path. They come after me, they'll wreck it. Oh. <laughs> Technical roll. Uh I need to refresh my memory. Oh, it's a spell, isn't it? 
I need to activate the sneaky spell. An encampment. This must be it. Betting on the dragon fights was the best decision I've ever I wonder if I can stay stealth and gather. Ooh. Reminds me stealth of gathering. Fell out of a car at Green Goss. I was only young, mind. They come after me. I'll stick them like a nogtail. Nothing over here. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. We're going to scout around the back. We were in the mines at one time or other. We're going where there's a clear path is probably not the best idea. Oh, what's this? Okay, nothing. Just looked like there was something under there. Arn will regret not joining us. He doesn't come round now. He'll be made even more of an example. What if I could just jump over here? We should have killed that traitor, Arn, when we took his cards. Oh. <clears throat> I meant to do that. No witch or wizard will be spared. Whoop. Okay then. Sneaky sneak. Any who oppose Renrock will be eliminated. What are those? Okay, these things can be used for something. I'm just not sure what. Hey, um, where they? Okay. No one noticed that. A waste of my time. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to arm. Are they just letting it happen? Which yeah. Kind will submit to us once the war is over. They just wait. No, 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 no. They're not. They stopped it. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Is it just because there's someone in the way, and once they get out the way, it'll be fine? Oh, oh. It's the wind. It's just the wind. It's the wind. Don't worry about it. Okay, okay. So it appears as if it's not that cut and dry. Let's see. What do I have? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Some chomping cabbage. Right. Wait a moment. What's that? Who's there? Is somebody there? Hello? Hmm. <laughs> Sniped. I'm not the plants. Okay, well, that's a thing. Whoa, that was close. Oh crap. 
Okay, it started me from here, but the carts are gone. Or do they just stay dead? Um... Okay then, well that... That feels very hollow. Hmm. Unfortunate. Well then. Could it be a Merlin trial? Incendium! That's on fire now. Oh, okay. It's gonna be with these things, so I need to do the I thing. Feel. Okay. Where's the rest of them? Here's another one. Aha. Akio. Well, that's two. What? Oh, that was Weird. Akio. I think I kind of went past that without intending to. Oh. Aha. However, I am very tempted to see what's up there. Oh, no! Oh, okay, it's fine. I'm fine. My ankle somehow survived that. Looking for some balls. Are the balls anywhere near me? I honestly can't believe I missed these sneaky things. How far away would they be hiding these things? Is it a real long distance? Because from here... Oh wait, they were under here. Ah, my dummy. Come here, you. Oh. oh. I have to go from the side. There we go. I'm sorry, what? Oh, they just took the long way around. And, and the last one? Oh. What's that? 
I took the scenic route. Jump up. You did it so well before. Oh, come on. Oh, well. Can't jump on that now. <laughs> this is definitely intentional. I'm sure. Nice. Revelio. I want to know is how do I get to you? Are we loose of mushrooms? Do I just jump through the little Nope. Can I? Accio. Nope. Can't accio the mushrooms. Oh well, they get to survive. Probably could be using fast travel for this. Oh. Leviosa. Accio. What? It's just defeated already. I see. More spiders. Oh crap. Right. Oh wait, I probably didn't collect the thing from the other one. Oh no. Where did I lay it? Is it gonna... It's, it's fine. It's fine. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> that dude didn't even react. Or anything. <laughs> Random guy. In a wizard hat and a robe, jumps right in front of you, and you just keep walking. Huh. If you're here for my wares, I'm afraid I still don't have my carts. But they. Um. On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good in wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I mean, it was difficult. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with... Witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. It's a little excessive. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. All the best to you. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares. I honestly don't know how they're not here yet. Uh, I may or may not have died. Um, but anyway. Whoa. Oh, oh, he apparated away. What is here? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Revelio. Oh, a sack. Oh, 
can I repair that? Oh, repair. No, that's the one. Repair. Oh, boo. Boo, I say boo. Oh, that's dumb. Well, a little bit of the magic's gone now. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any whispers going about the town? A goblin called Pergit is causing a bit of a stink. His gang is attacking travelling vendors, and now business is suffering everywhere. Uh, it would be nice if someone would do something about it. No one wants to pick a fight with a band of goblins, though. <laughs> Which means he's free to do what he wants down in Coral Ruins. Mm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he just told us who he was and what he sells. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling that. Oh. Thank you. I <laughs> Oops. I think I just sold something that was better than what I currently have. And unfortunately, I don't think there's a buyback. Back. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll find something else. I still have the cosmetics of it, I'm sure. So that's something, right? Yeah, yeah. Seems a pleasant little place. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to jump on top of this building. Nope. Okay. <laughs> it definitely does look low enough to jump on, but I don't think it's intentional. <laughs> but maybe from this side. Come on. Hey, 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 wait, wait, come on, come on. I'm a belly goat. There we go. Well, I mean, it's reward enough. Look at it. What in the world? Can I? Oh, that's way too far away. Hmm. Interesting. Probably has something to do with flying. Very tempted to just jump down. I was a little bit afraid because I was on hard mode, so I took the safe route instead. Oh, it's the thing. Yep. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant! Let's hope I don't embarrass myself. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio! Oh. Okay, but now you've gotten that in my way. Try to beat that. Akio! I'll let you have that one. Oh, Akio. thanks. Nothing to it.
Mm. Yeah, yeah. So close. Lucky shot. Akio. All in the wrist. Yeah, yep. Definitely. Definitely all in the wrist. Or is it all in the hips? Akio. Well, I think I messed it up. Not bad. Not bad. Hmm. Tie game. At least you didn't beat me. Tie game? Oh. Math. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? Yeah. I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. You, you keep saying the same thing, yeah. dude. Boring, boring. That's cheating. You cheater. Try to beat that. Okay, I will. Akio. Okay, well, I matched it. That's one for the ages. Akio. Hey. Don't you boop my balls. Nothing to it. Not bad. Not bad. Akio. What? It's a trick shot. All in the wrist. I'm impressed. Akio. Ha ha ha. I'll let you have that one. Oh, will you? You beat me. Will you? Will you let me have that? How gracious of you. Bit of good luck, that's all. Oh. Oh, really? No need to be upset. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The hmm? others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. So what you're telling me is you are actually pretty shitty and you just let me win, quote unquote. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Hmm. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested. And that you passed. Thanks so much. Pew, 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 pew. I missed the first shot. What you doing there? Our neighbor at home knows someone who's related to the inventor of Skelligro. It's true. Limpred of Stinchcomb, his name was. Hmm. Revelio. What was that? I heard a ting. Where did that ting come from? In these bushes? you <gasps> wait uh. Uh. you know what no 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 just don't get distracted just, just go and do the thing no more falling off rooms for me oh uh. clearing everyone on was magnificent fun and getting to see Isaac Cooper. Uh. Imelda 
Incendio. Revelio. Oh, what? Oh, hello. Weasley said, Accio. Seemed a bit excessive. Hmm. Oh. Oh no. A puzzle. <laughs> okay. Just ignore it. You can come back. Oh no. Great. Wait. What's this? Nope. It's just a grate. What? No, no, no. Just leave it. Oh. Oh, hello. Accio. Levioso. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? <laughs> no, he was calling him himself, Gareth. Himself for not having brought me that fruit of feather and potions. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant. Thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework, get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Hmm... I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Uh, A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Just spoke over him. How rude. You want to see me, sir? Yes! Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait. How do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. 
Revelio. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Okay. Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young. My ghostly form cannot carry it. I heard peeves. I don't like that I heard peeves. Oh, what's that? Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. I'm you sorry, what? Tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining Rebellion. sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. At least I used my wand. A student in the kitchen. Never what will understand student. Found themselves a bit peckish, likely. You know how hungry growing humans Certainly can get. Certainly makes Rookie's job easier. <laughs> Pardon me, but can you point me to the rubbish? None such was just about to dispose of today's collection. It's towards the back. Help yourself, I suppose. It smells glorious in here. Hmm. Here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Some Welsh rabbit. Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gamp's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Think he supposes not. However, think he has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favourite, but the new fangled arbor of Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens. 
But Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back any time you please. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Well, I mean, it's kind of given the go ahead to have a bunch of stuff now. So, I mean. I've gained a new appreciation for breakfast. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Thank you. I don't know why, but I'll just take it. Yes. Drink it. Yum yum. All of it. I'm probably not hungry, but mmm, tasty. How can you resist? Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Think he keeps all us house elves in line here in the kitchen? It's all right. She's the kind-hearted sort. The headmaster's house elf, Scroop, sometimes sneaks into the kitchen late at night to peel for a morsel. We look the other way. I think there was another one I missed somewhere. Uh, ignore that. Nope, I think I've got them all. Oh. Revelio. Nice. Nice dance moves. Oh, oh. Seem to be enjoying yourself there. Okay, okay, I'll do your two work. No. Very fancy. Oh, come on, if I do. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Sorry for the wait. I I have returned. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however. In no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Is the headless hunt dangerous? Oh, the headless hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving headless ghosts. Yes, sounds completely fine. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Ramsay. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now, then this party would be complete. 
How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you our entry requirements are quite clear? <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Ah, uh, poor Nick. What's on? I'd say he's in over his head this time. <laughs> oh. Maps. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Yep, that's the way to do it. No other way to get down. That's... Oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, I can't go get that page now. Who will be next to play our little game of hide-and-seek amongst the pumpkins? Okay. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they'd let me be in charge. Please could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. Why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through his paces. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember! The game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Cast away until you... It won't be long now. You'll find him. Discovered already? Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh, Jackdaw? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. I could do that too if I had a wand. And a body. I'm glad I won't be the one to clean up this mess. Why did I come back here? Who would have thought a mortal... I've never...
never seen it played like this. How delightful. Is it over yet? Are we still going? again. I've never seen it played like this. How delightful. <laughs> no match for you. Hmm, there we go. Well done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. I mean, I don't just go blasting everywhere. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jackdaw here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist. I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Nice. I then came across another door, but managed to resist this time somehow, and continued with the quest. What? Yeah, I heard you, but I don't know where you are. Yep, still hear you, but I don't know where you are. Also, where is the... This looks like the right statue. Oh, it does, but what about... What was the password? I'm sure that puzzle will still be there when I get back. Descendium! Goodness! Who knew this was all down here? A lift? Must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Hmm. Is this a jumping puzzle or am I going to die if I try? I need to fix the lift before I can use it. Oh, right, 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 right. That makes sense. Uh, Repairer! That seems to have done the trick. This castle will never cease to surprise me. 
weird little thing. Rebellion. I'm going to have to get past this. <laughs> Repair it. Leviosa. I thought that was timed. Incendio. Oops. One more to go and I'll make it across. Repair it. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Accio. Oh, yeah, it's that thing over there. Let's go. Ew. Nope. Hmm. What if I? Accio. Okay, no. Let me see. Well, did the trick. Hmm. Oh wait. Okay, now I guess. Guess I have to do that there. This must be the way out. I need to find a way to open that gate. Incendio. Rebellion. Something smells sweet. Okay. Must be close to honeydew. Interesting job. Hogsmeade, here I come. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Rebellion. So much stuff. Have the dried billywigs things. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Hmm. Leviosa. Oh, that's that's there now. Revelio. This is just outright oh, stealing. But it says F. Oh. Okay. 
It's a good thing none of that caught a light. Wait a moment. Revelio. That was cool. Samples. That's what they are. It's not stealing, it's samples, that's right. Yep, these are all just samples. Free samples. This right here? Free sample. Free sample. Free samples. Oh! Thank you for the free samples. See, that? never mind. I'm clearly... Completely fine. Hmm. Had too much free samples, I guess. Cool. Bye. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Well, I'm sure that'll be tasty. But for now, I'll call it an episode. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked it and subscribe. Here's a video from the YouTube algorithm. And here's the entire playlist if you want to watch from the first episode. I'll see you next time.